Hello, I'm Argama Witch, and I'm going to show you how to make a simple witch hat accessory uh, for your Vroid model with hair. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is add a procedural group. Uh, now, I have black down here as far as my base hair color. I, uh, the hair color is actually blue, so we'll show you what it looks like as a blue. But for the most part, I use black because of aligning textures is a little difficult. Um, I'm going to shrink the height down. I'm going to make sure that my mirror is on so both sides move at the same time. What I'm going to do is find where I want the brim of the hat. And I think I want it... Well, I don't want it this big. But I think I want it about... Maybe about here. So what I'm going to do is slowly start stretching all of these points to line up. Uh, if the back and the front do not move in a unison in order to do this circle shape, then you might want to turn the mirror off to fix it. Uh, sometimes it's a little janky. Yeah, it looks good. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take flat and we're going to take straight. And I usually go about as straight like this straight as possible. And then I go to the number of pairs and I do as many as possible. And for intervals, I bring it all the way around. So now it's all the way around. Um, if this was in black, it would look like this. It's a little better. You can also uh, adjust the uh, edges if you want to try to get it to line up a little bit more. If you want it to look even better, you can do multiple of these and just have them overlap a little bit. Now we're going to do a uh, another procedural group. I've clicked on the base hair so it'll start in the center again. And uh, just straight down. I'm going to lower the height because I want to work with as le least a number of points as possible. Uh, I'm going to make sure that the mirroring is on. And I'm going to take this and bring it up like this. And I'm going to take this one and bring it up like this. Uh, and these other ones I'm going to take down to where the brim is and I'm in the center. Just like that. Now what I do is I take the top ones and I pull them in to the center. And it might require you to adjust a little bit. And then I kind of pull this so it kind of looks like uh, a witch's hair. Just pull it in and adjust it a little bit. Yeah, like that. Um, Increase the number of pairs again, interval all the way around until it's all filled in. Uh, so I do flat here, but if you want to not do flat, if you want to do diamond, you can do diamond as well. I would make it not as thick, oops, not as thick, but it will help hide some of the things. Because, um, for example, this, this group. Uh, is going to bow almost always and forever. There's a few ways you can kind of get away with it not bowing. If you adjust like the hairline, it'll come up a little bit. Like that. I'll just do this on like an angle like this. Um, But for my personal hat, I use a a flat one. But like I said, you can use diamond as well, it doesn't really matter. It helps a little bit if you have a little bit more to work with. But for the most part, this is basically how I do with my witch's hat. Uh, when you want to go do the uh, boning, what I do is I grab all this, I create a bone group. And this requires some fiddling around. You're going to want to find one of them to follow. I 
to do just a couple of bones and a little higher. And for the most part, I'm not even going to do a bone group here. This is add some gravity to this. That might have been a little too much gravity. <laughs> a little bit of gravity and a lot of stiffness. A little bit more and let's change the targeted hair to the front. And there it goes. Now we have a little flop. You got a little flop in the front too. Uh, I like floppy hats, but you absolutely do not need to have a floppy hat. Yeah, I lowered the flop a little bit. And now we can see in motion how this will look. And you see that hat's wiggling around a little bit. Uh, there's walking. You need a little bit of a wiggle at the front and a little bit of a wiggle at the top. Uh, if we have it with the uh, triangle, uh, diamond, makes it a little thicker, adds a little bit more. So when you see movement, uh, it doesn't cut through and show the hair or the uh, head underneath. But yeah, that's basically how I do it, which is hat. If you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to see me make using v please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if this has helped you out, give it a like, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>